Can anyone stand in for a role during a meeting? Hey guys, it's Jonathan helping you work better together with self-management and holacracy. So today's question comes from uh, Sergey on the community of practice. It's just a quick question. He says, hey everyone, constitution states that in any given instance where a surrogate is needed, the surrogate is in this order of precedence, blah, blah, blah. And what he's asking is, does this rule apply to any given instance within elected roles or any given instance in general? And he's asking because there is no specific guidance for situations when the lead link is unavailable and lead link is not an elected role. Thanks. And he's posting from Russia. Great to see people posting from uh, um, other places in the world. So I just wrote a quick reply here. Um, this does not apply to the lead link. It's only for elected roles. And it's typical for the facilitator or secretary if they're not in a meeting, um, but they're required for the meeting to function. So it's important to have facilitator and secretary at every meeting. Um, so it's common for if someone just can't make a meeting for some reason for somebody to step in for facilitator or secretary. And incidentally, it's also really useful for training others. Um, if you want to train up the people in your circle to become better facilitators, better secretaries, just get them more experience with holacracy, it's totally common to say, hey, do you, do you want to be a secretary at this meeting? Okay, cool. And have them act as secretary. Super useful. Um, let's take a quick look at the Constitution here. This is Constitution version 5, and now this is under section 164, surrogates, and it's been simplified a little bit. Now it says, a surrogate may act as facilitator or secretary while the role is unfilled. Okay. A surrogate may also fill in when the normal facilitator or secretary is unavailable for a meeting or requests a surrogate for any reason. So as long as the facilitator gives you permission to facilitate, you can facilitate for that meeting. Um, and again, this is really useful for training people up in the circle, and I really encourage it to get, more, get people more practice in the different nuances of facilitation and secretary work. Uh, there's one more detail to Sergey's question. So he says, um, asking because there's no specific guidance for situations when lead link is unavailable and lead link is not an elected role. In this case, uh, just do your best. If lead link's not there, um, take, a, take attention to process that issue with them uh, outside of the meeting and let them know that it really would have been helpful if they were there. And if it makes sense to them in their roles, they will come next time. So that's all I got, uh, just a quick one. And um, I'm gonna go over here, okay. And uh, signing off now, uh, it's my wish that you're successful on your self-management journey. Let's keep working better together.